on your phone to make my own Would that be What's good, YouTube? How you doing? It's Mr. Cool again, Gels, aka Janelle, whatever you want to call me. Um, making a respond video to this video that, um, I think it's that model Barb. So, I'm not even gonna try because it probably fucked up the whole name. I'm sorry. Y'all are mad cute though. Y'all mad sexy as hell. Like that kissing video? What? But, um, back to the topic about if dildos, straps, and toys are necessary with fucking a girl. Which basically. They're not necessary, but they make everything like more interesting. Whatever. And I definitely went to that website that y'all had up there. And that shit. They got mad weird shit on there. Like, I didn't know that they had, like, man straps. Like, if you're a dick, I guess it's for all, like, Asian and, um, white men. And if you a brother with a small dick, um, that sucks to be you. But they have, like, this shit that you can put over your fucking dick or whatever and, like, fuck your girlfriend so you actually have, like, so she doesn't have to fake it as much. But whatever, besides the point. But I remember when I got my first strap or whatever like that. I definitely... Love, love, love toys. I can do it natural, but I love toys just to keep it interesting. Especially if you got a girl and y'all been going out for a while just to keep it, you know, like, interesting and not get, you know, lesbian fucking deathbed, which means that y'all don't fuck anymore. Because, I mean, I'm not saying that I don't like getting head, but I mean, just getting head can get boring once in a while and you can't be lying and saying you got your period every week just so you gotta fuck your girl definitely tried that one and it didn't really work <laughs> but um I remember the first time I got a strap I was like 17 18 or whatever my mom actually bought my first strap which holla out to my mom for fucking being support my mom bought me my first strap my mom bought me my first vibrator my mom fucking encourage me to like, my mom would be like, or this bond, you can use my room to have sex. And I'll be like, nah, it's okay, mom, I got you, I got you. She's mad supportive, so word up to Mama Dukes for being what's good. But straps are like awesome. I don't know, I have a thing for like feminine chicks that like to strap up. Or this bond, you think fem, it could be the most, I had an ex and she was mad feminine, like high heels, fucking like got her nails done, whatever like that. And knew how to work a strap. Like, I mean, some studs do like, you know, penetration. And people think that, you know, just because you're a stud. Which, I'm not even a stud. I'm like the no label. Or like what the gay community wants to call a stem. Which is mad corny. Because fem sounds mad sexy. Like, I'm thinking like, freak em dress. Looking mad good. A stud, you thinking like someone sexy. Got rock, rock hard abs. Like, fucking... Tim's and white beaters, but a stem? Who the fuck made that shit? That shit is mad corny, yo. That shit is... No, I smoke trees, nigga. Don't fucking compare me to a tree. Stem, that's corny. So I'ma just be like, no label in it because I'm sexy like that. I can rock it like a dude and I can rock it, rock it like a chick, but I'm still gonna get your pussy wet, so that's all that matters. Like, when you see me walk by. But, um... I remember the first time I got a strap, and like, I don't know, like, I, I mean, they didn't gotta be like, unrealistic, I don't want balls on my shit, that's just weird, I've seen shit with pubic hair and shit, that's, I don't even like, I mean, I have to shave my pussy, but that, you know that shit's mad annoying, I'm not gonna buy something with fucking pubic hair when I don't even rock my shit with pubic hair, that's just mad corny, or like, they have like, a, they have ones that come now, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, I mean, I guess some certain people like to get calmed on or whatever, so they want, I don't, that just sounds bisexual as hell to me, like, I don't see how a lesbian really wants to get calmed on by a fake dick, like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't want to get calmed on, don't get in my fucking hair, yo, because we fucking boxing if you get that shit in my hair, a word is blind, yo, but I don't think strap, I don't think toys are necessary, like, as if you got tonguing, and you know how to finger, then that's what's up. Like, I ain't never had strap from, like, another stud. I mean, regardless, I do prefer feminine women. But, I mean, I definitely have dated, like, studs before. But it has to be, like, a soft stud. It can't be like, yo, my name is my name is Ashley, yo, where this pawn, I wear my strap. Like, have you ever noticed that someone, like, some people wear their strap all the time? What the, unless, are you fucking horny that you gotta wear your dick all the fucking time? Like, Ew. I don't understand, unless you think that you want a dick and honey, I don't know, that shit looks gross. I don't even feel comfortable, like, when I, like, I could, 
I'm, I could rock a strap, but I feel mad. I don't know about you, but I feel mad awkward when I gotta put it on. I'd be like, oh, it's touching me. Oh my god. I'd hurry up and just put it in, okay? And then, like, I'm savage. Like, I'm not, I'm a softie. I don't even care. Like, I have mad feminine tendencies. Like, I don't like dirt. I'm scared of bugs. I'm not hard at all. Whatever. But, like, I couldn't wear that shit all the time. Like, it, I'm happy to have a vagina. It's pink. It's pretty. It smells good unless you're a dirty bitch. And it looks way better than that fucking snaky ass wrinkly shit. Like, I mean, I can think of, I'm thinking about sex right now. And I ain't got to worry about my dick standing up and embarrassing me. For real. My dick's in my fucking, um, drawer. So it really doesn't matter. Like, power to the pussy. You can hide shit in there where it's born. That shit's, like, awesome. If it's fucking hot outside, you know, you know, it, it generates air, queef, whatever like that, you know, keep it moving, you know, whatever, just keep that shit, you know, whatever, but getting, I don't even think I even thought about it, but I don't even know it, and then anal beads, that's just weird, I mean, I, I'm not gonna say I have anything against anal sex or whatever like that, but anal beads, I don't, I don't, it's like turds coming out your ass, like, I mean, maybe people have fun, like, Shitting, but I don't. I don't want to feel that shit and like vibrating through those two. Like, it feels good when you're wearing it, but I can feel it in my butt when it's when it's like in, and I'm just like, man, uncomfortable. Like earthquake in my ass. Not feeling this, whatever, like that. But I'm gonna get out of here. Cause I got my shit to do. But I just want to say, dildos aren't necessarily. You don't fucking need them, but. They're really fun, so go buy a dildo. And when you buy that dildo, call me.